on boys and girls of the internet. This is WB fans with uh, my golf cart. <laughs> so I just bought this thing today for a dollar. Uh, the guy was getting rid of it and didn't really want it, and he didn't want big money. So he just sold it to me for a dollar. So um, that's great. As you can see, it was Boston Red Sox themed. Got there. I'm, that that's all gonna come off. Um, this is a 1986. Yamaha G2 golf cart and I actually have the owner's manual to it in the truck that's the uh, owner's manual right there has insurance and stuff because we need to get it registered um, has not factory headlights those headlights are not factory made by General Electric. Got these also side reflectors here. Uh, almost bald tires, but I think those will last me through uh, this summer. And then next year, I'll definitely have to change them. This one's kind of coming off. Don't mind the crate. I was going to the dump with this thing. So I guess we'll do um, interior work. That's the hood, or the front end of it. So you sit down and we got storage in here. There's the wiring, messy wiring job for the um, headlights. But yeah, we got a bit of storage. Um, brake pedal. This one up here is your parking brake if you've never driven a golf cart before. And that one's your gas pedal, obviously. And it's got rubber mats that are built into the golf cart. Also got a winch screen that's missing the rubber seal that goes across here. Um, got clamps in here because whenever I hit a bump on the back roads, it, uh... Now, let's see. Whenever I hit a bump on the back roads, there's my thought. Yeah, like I said, whenever I hit a bump on the back roads, the thing would come down it was so annoying and this is probably gonna be the first thing I, that I buy the replace in this whole golf cart also got a mirror there's me I'm gonna keep this mirror it's probably the one of the things I'm gonna keep on this golf cart so I guess we'll go over to passenger side now this is left over from a chainsaw that was sitting on it all winter now it left a gas mark in it footrest Got cup holders with the change and stuff in it. Golf ball holders. Um, golf tees, I put these in there a while ago. Horn. We've got ignition. This is off, this is on. So it's not like a car. Um, you turn it on and you press the accelerator and that's what makes it go. And if I turn it off, that'll, um, Cause that and here's your gear shift you got reverse if you turn it on that beeper comes on that's really useless this switch is for the headlights and tail lights as you can see they both work probably gonna keep those as well but the tail lights do not so I'm probably gonna get rid of those tail lights and I'm probably gonna get rid of these um flacker things and put like um, you know those uh, hood lights that are on the side of like on the hoods of old trucks. I'm gonna put those on there and put like a turn signal system. And got a choke knob, pull that out. We also have pinstriping basically all over the golf cart, but it's basically coming off, so everywhere. Which is a real shame, because I'm sure this thing looked great in, in its day. Somebody did this, it wasn't him, somebody else did this. They did, painted it over to cover up the rust, but as you can see, it's coming back up and it's off. It is really off. We also have a roof. And um, this will go back over to this side. There's our back wheel well. All right, I don't usually show under underneath, but there's the frame basically solid this is the battery um cover as you can see it is rusting that is something i'm gonna have to replace 
Um, yeah, it's in really great shape. Frame is super duper solid. All muddy because the roads back here are so, because it's been rainy recently. Uh, I got these rubber things. I don't know what those do. Got our golf um, straps still in here. Original. Golf basket that needs to be repainted. This thing needs to be sanded down and repainted. Here's the back end of the golf cart. Bumper is solid. Suspension solid. Everything solid. We'll get to that in a minute. That hole right there you saw. As you can see, it's starting to rust a bit on the top, but like when it's on the ground, heading towards the ground, it's like all painted black still. Oh yeah, here's another cover. This one's in much better condition, so I don't think I'll have to replace this one. Yeah, you also got mud flaps, which is a nice thing. And a cracked floor mat. Holy man, <laughs> look at all the sand in there. <laughs> so right here is like a crack, as you can see. Um, this is a plastic door, like a plastic door that's supposed to cover all of this, but the, as you can see, it broke off a few years ago. This is where your gas goes, and it even has a gas gauge. And then this lever, Let's you open up the, lets you get engine access. Here's a giant gas tank. And here's our engine block. Um, that's the oil, air filter. Everstart battery, that's awesome. I think he got it last year. And he left it in there all winter. I left I my headlights on. Left it in there all winter, and things started right up. So, yeah, like I said, left it in there all summer. I mean, winter. Left it in there all winter, and uh, basically held its charge all winter long. And this thing, this whole thing takes a freaking marine battery. Like, what the heck? Hmm, I have to fix that. Yeah, there's the frame right there. That's the beeper, I think, right there. That's the switch that engages the uh, beeper to go on. But, um, yeah, that's underneath the engine block. I love this um, hood access. Because on most golf carts, it's only the um, top seat cover that comes off. And not the whole thing. So this... This plastic would be down here if this were a newer golf cart, and this rubber piece would be up if you know what I mean. The seats are in relatively good shape. This, at least this part is. These aren't really that great. See, they've got a nice cut. And uh, I could just buy covers for it, honestly. But uh, yeah, let's see, am I missing anything else on this thing? Oh yeah, it's got a really disgusting uh, steering wheel cap that I'm probably going to get rid of after I'm done this video. And it's got a Boston Red Sox flag which is going to go which is going to go back to the original owner. I will keep um, updating you guys on this golf cart for sure. And um, yeah. It also has tow hitches. One right there. That's a tow hitch for something. And then there's two on the front. There's this one and that one. Probably that one's probably for when you get it stuck in the mud. And yes, I have um, tried to do a donut in this. Well, I actually did sort of. And I went on a road with nobody on it and I quickly did a donut. And I forgot that the boat crate was in the passenger seat. So it flew right out. So yeah, I can do a donut in this. You just have to floor it, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, everything is in good shape on this thing. Like, 
I think the, the shocks, everything is mint. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video of my 1986 Yamaha G2 golf cart. All right, thank you and goodbye. That there, uh, I am gonna make video. I mean, I'm gonna make a video of me driving this thing, but I'm gonna have to mount the camera somewhere on the windshield. And I am removing the steering cap. This disgusting steering cap. Look at that. I don't even know why you'd need one on a golf cart. It's like, what the heck? This is also gonna go this uh, Boston Red Sox flag. That's really dirty. All right, that was just a quick um, forget, sh forget note. All right, bye. Just a quick little update. I have removed the stickers, but they have left an outline. Hopefully when I give it a good like power wash or something, hopefully it comes off. There's where one used to be right here. I'm keeping these stickers on because the police quote unquote said you have to put them on there on any golf cart on, out here. That's where the Boston Bruins one used to be. And it looks just very plain now. But I'll probably put some kind of stickers of my own on the side, I don't know. Or I'll just leave it blank. It looks like somebody went with a knife and outline cut of where the um, socks used to be. Another sticker used to be here. Well, I wonder if that'll come out with a wipe or something. But uh, yeah, that's just a quick little update on the stickers, decals and stuff. And here's what the steering wheel looks like without the um, steering cap. It looks very weird because uh, I've always seen this thing with the steering cap and it is absolutely disgusting. Dill pickle chips are really good. As you can see, it is absolutely disgusting. There's where all the stickers are, because this refrigerator is going to the dump. So yeah, that's my quick little update on the Yamaha 1986 Yamaha G2 golf cart. Alright, see ya, and goodbye.